Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Beastars Episode 7. So, a quick update. I didn't do this in my uh, Hatage video, but, you know, oh well. Um, I'm sure you all noticed that I didn't record anything throughout the week. Uh, that's because I am doing something different with the schedule. Um, let me get this up here. So, basically, seeing as how I dropped a bunch of shows throughout the uh, season, I think at least four or five, um, I'm able to move things around so that I could actually get to the shows I said I was going to uh, for this season. That being the ones that I had started watching but did not finish. Um, not the ones I put on hold from previous seasons, but... Well, I'll get into it in a little bit. Anyway. Um, so... Starting next week... This week, I'm just gonna try to catch up as much as I can. But starting next week... Uh, this is what the schedule is going to look like. So, Monday... I'm gonna have Yuri Yuri Season 3. Tuesday is gonna be My Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu Season 2. Gotta get that done since Season 3 is gonna be coming up. Wednesday is gonna be Kaiji Season 1. I still gotta finish that. I think I got 12 episodes left. And Thursday is gonna be Monster. Um, I have 24 episodes of that left. Friday and Saturday are going to be dedicated to all the shows for this season. Friday should be starting next week. Didn't I say to make my abilities average in the next life? Hatage, Kimono Michi, Oresuki, Beastars, and Azura Lane. And then Saturday is going to be Marimashita, Irumakun, Fate Grand Order, Babylonia, my Hero Academia Season 4, High Score Girl Season 2, and Seven Deadly Sins Season 3. Azur Lane and Seven Deadly Sins I have to catch up to. I'm like three episodes behind, but I will catch up. Um, I will probably do those the days I'm only doing one show. So expect like one episode for whichever days I decide to do those on. I don't know which ones yet. I'll probably do... Seven Deadly Sins on Monday, and I'll try to do Azra Lane Wednesday. So expect one episode of Yuri Yuri and one episode of Kaiji those days. Uh, after that, there should be multiple episodes of those. So, yeah. Uh, and Sunday is going to be uh, me finishing up Kara no Kyokai. Uh, I ended it at movie two, and I believe there's eight plus an interlude. So, yeah. Uh, I still got seven to go. So that should be the schedule from now on. Um, winter season, you all know I'm not... I'm taking off, pretty much. I'm still going to do three shows from that season, but only three. Everything else is going to have to wait, unfortunately, because... They decided to release a few things that I want to watch, but I'm taking it off so that I can watch the shows that I had put on hold from the previous seasons. So Radiant, uh, Yagate Kimi ni Naru, Ueno san wa Bukiyo, Fruit Basket, Joshikase no Murazukai, um, Fire Force, Dr. Stone, Vinland Saga, all those shows. Uh, oh, there was another one on here. Um, no, I think that one... No, that, that's it. So those shows I'm going to be watching during the winter season. And then spring season, I will pick up the seasonal reactions again. But I will only be doing like five or six. Um, that way I can cut down the amount of shows I'm doing... And I won't have to drop anything. Um, like I have this season. So, yeah. There's only going to be five shows done during that season. 
uh, plus anything that we add in from the recommended anime. Because I should be done with these by the by then, so we can add in some more. I have to go through the list, put up a poll, find out what you guys want me to watch. Anyway, that's what's going on with that. So, Beastars. Uh, last episode... Let's see, what happened last ep- Oh, they were having preparations for the uh, Me- Meteorite Festival, where um, Lugosi, Bill, and a few others, uh, I think he's an eagle, and a cat, some kind of cat, I don't remember, what, if he's like a panther or something, but they all went out to the city. Um... It's like one of the few times they actually get to go out to the city. Usually they have to stay in the school. But because they have to go and talk to, I guess, the mayor or something, they have to go out there and get everything set up. Or in order, you know, sign paperwork and stuff like that. Um, Lewis is basically telling him, look, we're sending you guys out. Just go there, get the paperwork signed and everything, and then come back don't go to the dark market um apparently that was a bad translation because everybody kept telling me don't watch these guys anymore after one episode of bad translations all of a sudden they're no good anymore i guess um so i didn't i went to i got somebody else's episode a group called judas i don't know if they're any good um Anyway, they end up leaving the, uh, I think, the mayor's office. And, oh, I should mention that while they're there, they notice how everybody seems to be getting along. The carnivores, the herbivores, nobody seems to be, like, weird around each other. Nobody's like, is he going to eat me? Is he not going to eat me? Stuff like that. (laughs) Um... And as they're trying to make their way back to the train station, because they had gone out to eat, um, and then they're heading back, they got a little lost, found their way down this alley, where they found this, um, looked like a homeless person, kind of sitting against a wall, and Lugosi was going to ask him, you know, which way to the station. But before he could ask... This, I don't know what he was, lifted up his hands. He was missing a couple fingers, and then the rest of them had prices on them. Uh, Basically, he was charging people to eat his fingers. Because they had found the dark market. Or I'm assuming it's supposed to be the black market. So I'm just going to call it the black market since I'm... Never mind. Anyway. um, As soon as that comes up this truck that was in the way moves and they see the dark or the yeah the black market which is basically where all the carnivores are going to get their meat um you can get it raw you could have it cooked however you like but it's where all the carnivores go to eat meat so that they don't I guess get urges to eat any of the citizens (laughs) Lugosi was pretty shocked. Bill, on the other hand, for those who don't remember, and I'm sure you all do, Bill's the tiger that he was fighting with during the play. He got excited and was telling everybody that if they all go in together, they could share the finger. Uh, Lugosi didn't like that, so he was going to start a fight with him again, and he tells him, look, I don't have to deal with you here. We're not at school. All right. I don't have to put up with your self-righteousness. And everybody else is pretty much on the same page. Let's all just do it and eat eat a finger, you know? And he's like, "Uh, no. I don't know why he ran through the black market. He could have gone back the other way, but he ran through the 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 black market where he could smell all of the meat and everything cooking and... It was starting to get to him a bit. He was starting to salivate a lot. But he gets to the other side and he gets 
basically grabbed by this panda. Uh, I guess he's kind of like a therapist for animals who, ha- or I should say carnivores, who have eaten meat and have gotten to the point where they basically have to have it. Kind of like a drug. Um, they get addicted to it and then, you know, like out of nowhere because they want it so badly they just attack somebody. But he tries to get them before that so that he can kind of put them through a rehab and get them back out into civilization without wanting to eat meat. Um, he didn't believe Lugosi when Lugosi told him that he had not eaten meat. And But he did kind of figure out that he was in love with uh, an herbivore which he was trying to tell him look that's just you confusing hunger you're not really in love with her um they kind of have a conversation afterwards because he had him muzzled and chained up and then he let him go and they started having a normal conversation where T was involved (laughs) and um he hands him a magazine. It was a porno mag with uh, herbivores in it. I think the front cover had a rabbit. And tells him, look, if you look at that and you have the same kind of like urges as you do when you think about your rabbit friend, then okay, you're just kind of weird. <laughs> but if you do and you don't have those kind of urges and you're just you just want to eat her. Um... So, I mean, he takes it, (laughs) but then he's trying to find his way back to the station. He ends up finding it, and he finds the eagle there. cannot remember his name. It was something... I know it was the name of another character from another show. I mean, a lot of characters are named after other characters from another show. Or they, you know, similar names, but I can't remember what it was. Um... Either way, he couldn't do it. He couldn't eat the finger. So he just went to the station, I guess, hoping to find him. And I guess waited to see if he would show up. Uh, Bill and the other guy ended up staying behind. That was pretty much it. Alright, so I don't know what's going to happen in this one. So let's get into it and see what we're in for. Video is going to be located over here, and the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. And we're going to start this episode in three, two, one. <laughs> 